in our last episode, we saw that we could override the stylings established by an external style sheet by including an internal style sheet within a web page. The Monster Mash is the proof of that. Now, what I want to do in this episode is show you that there is yet another level in this hierarchy. It's called inline styling, and it supersedes any settings set up in your internal style sheet. Just as your internal style sheet supersedes any settings in your external style sheet. So we have a couple of layers or levels of exceptions to the rules that we're establishing in our external style sheets. So the rules kind of cascade down from external style sheets to internal style sheets to inline style. That's what we mean by cascading style sheets. So let's change this text in our Monster Mash web page. Let's change the text of just the first paragraph from this dark orange to something lighter. Let's bring up our code in Text Wrangler. The logical place to change the styling of a paragraph is at the paragraph tag. So let's move down to the paragraph tag. And you see I have already, let me move that up a little bit for you. There we go. I've already entered in a style, an inline style, to change the color of the text to red. Let's save it. And then let's go back to the Monster Mash page, refresh that page and test it. Aha. Now that red may not show up all that great. Let's try orange. And we'll save that out. And let's give that a shot. Well, it's definitely easier to read. So, what have we learned? An inline style supersedes an internal style sheet. While an internal style sheet supersedes an external style sheet. Now, again, practice is how you are going to learn this stuff. So go into your web pages and play with an inline style. See how it can override both your internal and external style sheets.